Hello friends, welcome to House of Apps English. In this video, I'm going to tell you how to add a beneficiary or payee account in HDFC mobile bank application. Now why a beneficiary or payee account is important? See, whenever you want to transfer money, each and every time we enter the account details manually. But if you have added a beneficiary account or payee account in HDFC bank, then you can directly select that account and transfer the money within few steps. So yeah, that is why uh, adding beneficiary or payee account is important. Now without wasting any time, I'm going to start the video. But before that, if you're new to the channel, please don't forget to subscribe. Now the very first step you have to do is just simply open HDFC mobile bank application in your mobile phone and it doesn't matter if you're using an iPhone or an Android phone, the process is going to be same. Now you can complete the login process using face ID, four digit pin or password or if you have enabled biometrics then you can just simply scan your fingerprint and complete the login process. Now once the application is completely started, this is the kind of basic interface you will be able to see on your mobile screen. Now in order to add a beneficiary or payee account, all you have to do is just simply go and select this menu option over here at the uh, left hand side top corner. Now once you select menu option, all you have to do is uh, select pay option and in that you will get an option of money transfer. So tap on money transfer and go to the next page. Once you are on this particular page at the top, you can check out your uh, saving account number, you can check out your balance. Now, uh, if you have added payee account, then you can directly enter the payee name and you can search for it. But if you want to add payee or beneficiary account, then you get an option of add or manage payee. Just simply tap on that and again on the next page, over here, you will be able to check out all the payee accounts you have added. Uh, now, in my case, I have added two uh, account. But in your case, if you have not added any payee account, then this play, uh, page will be blank. So you get an option of add payee over here. Just simply tap on add payee and go to the next page. Now over here, if you are adding an uh, individual bank account, then you get three options. One is bank account. Another one is uh, Indian credit cards. And last one is cardless cash. So if you want to do uh, account to account transfer, then select bank account option over here. And in account category, if you tap on that, uh, it will give you two options. One is HDFC bank account and another one is non-HDFC bank account in India. So, uh, if you are adding an account of another person uh, and that account is of HDFC bank, then you have to select HDFC bank account over here. But if that uh, bank account is from another bank, let's say for example, uh, it can be Indescent, IDFC or it can be Kotak bank. So, in that case, you have to select non-HDFC bank account in India. As soon as you select that, Again, you get multiple options over here on the page. You have to add name on account. You have to uh, add account number over here. Make sure you enter correct account details. After entering the account number, again, you have to re-enter it. You have to select the account type and uh, you can either search for uh, IFSC code. If you have one, you can just enter the IFSC code and you can go ahead. And after entering each and every details, all you have to do is you just have to select continue option. Now you can see I have entered all the account details. Let's select continue option. Now on the next page, you can check out all the details which you have entered. Uh, you can also check out the note over here which says the newly added payee will be activated after 30 minutes of successful authentication. So once you add the payee, it will be activated after 30 minutes and you can start doing the transaction. Again, uh, next note is if no funds are transferred to an added payee for more than 24 months, the payee will be deactivated. So if you don't transfer uh, any money to the added payee or beneficiary account for at least two years, then that uh, payee account will be deactivated. So you have to, uh, you know, uh, add that payee account once again, if it gets deactivated. Now, once everything is confirmed, just select the confirm option over here. Now you'll receive an OTP on your registered mobile number and just select continue over here. Enter the OTP and select continue. Now I have entered the OTP, let's select continue option. Now you can see we have successfully added a payee account over here. After 30 uh, minutes, you can start doing the transaction. So simply select done option and that's it. So this is how simple it is to add a beneficiary or payee account in HDFC bank application. I hope this video was helpful. If it was, then don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I will see you all in the next one. Thank you.